Okay, well, hello, hello everyone. So, today I'm gonna show you how to make quite a lot of money in DC Universe Online without much effort. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say this straight away. The method works <laughs> if you uh, got the um, privileges of trading. So, you are not a completely free account, but <coughs> at least you need to be a premium or even better legendary. If you're premium, you won't be earning money, but you can still trade for really cool stuff. If you are um, legendary, you can actually earn money as well, as much as you want. So, first thing we need to do is, uh, well, obviously, the easiest way to get money is to just tap in the chat like Who hey, people selling the raid alert reset and just hope someone messages you and basically <coughs> you sell them the reset hoping that you have enough replay badges. That is in case you are either buying replay badges or if you're legendary and you get them every month. So, yeah. Obviously, that's not the uh, uh, best way to go about it. So, we're just gonna go to this server. Oh, wait a second. Wait, I got an offer. I was joking. I didn't want to. Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, say 400k for raid. These dumb, uh, I mean, uh, really smart people will pay anything, I guess. For the raid reset. <coughs> ah, okay, she's offline anyway. So she asked how much and went offline. Or she suddenly realized she's so scared. Okay, I'm actually going to sell some idiot. Um, uh, intelligent to uh, valuable customer something uh, today okay okay so <laughs> that's the one way I wasn't intending to show you this way but uh, let's just uh, pretend that <coughs> that's not one of the ways of earning it so in case you want to earn money by uh, <coughs> researching someone's raid all you need to do is obviously come up there to them So you can see on the minimap they are like somewhere there. Oh, they are there now. You am a lead, he was. Basically, you don't call it to be uh, the same CR uh, of the uh, person who you are resetting the rate to. So, for example, nearby we have this guy who wants a reset. All you need to do is add him to friends. And uh, you, uh, yeah, let me just say, I'm not that greedy. So, yeah, he wants a reset of particular uh, raid, you am elite. So, what we need to do go, is that go to Y and uh, it's either alert, can't remember now, or the raid. So either four players or eight players. And holy, only elite. Okay. <laughs> so I reset this one for 87 replay badges. It is reset. All right, done and invite him to trade <laughs> oh you don't want to trade you realize I have Russian Mafia behind me right 
there we go see all you need to do is give people a little bit of a push to trade here yeah? I can live with 300,000 Come on, come on, some of people actually rip off for 400,000. So I'll see you later. And remember, anything happens, the Russian mafia is on to you. <laughs> okay, but seriously. <laughs> ah, Ryuji. Okay, Pinho, I'll just invite her to the group with the menu. Uh, lucky me, eh? So, let's add her to friends too. We add as friend. Then, which rate is it? Obviously, we need to find out. Same one. Sure, <laughs> you aim elite. You yeah, should have done in the first place. <coughs> yes, okay, reset it. <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, you better want to trade. <laughs> 300,000. Thank you and muchas gracias. Well, accept, accept, yeah. <laughs> So just earned 600,000. Yeah, well, fair enough. Well, is enough. Ah, uh, my reset alert. Um, I'll just say. Can I come back to you in 10 minutes? Grunia is everyone, okay. Anyway. So, what we do is actually go to PvP server. There's bloody loads of people on the PvE server. So, what we do, we go to PvP. There's obviously not so much people here that are either brave or idiots. <laughs> to run around in PvP. So, what do we do now? We go to the Gotham Diamond District and you need to be level 30 uh, ish if you're a villain or any L level if you're a hero I'll explain why in a minute and yeah. so here we go Freaking 300,000 people pay for reset. What? Uh, apparently, in the US, 400,000 is the starting price. <laughs> because this is a European server. I'm not sure, maybe it's normal here as well. But I hardly ever sold resets until now. <laughs> I just wanted to make it as a joke in the chat. And apparently, it works. So, here we go. Uh, this is Robinson's Park. The place to get rich for premium and legendary. And by the way, if you are free, but if you want to earn some money or trade with people who are free and do the same thing as you, then what you do is you go to marketplace, then you go to upgrades, then you go to additional bank slot, no, auction slot and <laughs> you buy this for 90 uh, <coughs> station cash or something and uh, I think you can do it uh, at the start because you get sometimes uh, some bonus cash uh, well not station cash but <coughs> whatever it's called like nowadays daybreak cash or whatever so you buy it and uh, no, I can't join at the moment. And uh, basically, you can sell your stuff on the uh, auction 
and you can buy stuff from the auction even if you don't buy it so yeah but what you need to do is basically go around and collect the exhibits in Robinson Park just like run around have a look around they can be between benches between like, everywhere alternatively you can find out your own route like around the city and go around uh, getting exhibits from the rooftops and uh, stuff like that so let's find an exhibit here As you can see, not many people are hunting for this here because it's a PvP server and there aren't many people on PvP server. So there are more exhibits left. Simple as that. Now, the reason why I told villains to actually uh, be prepared, like geared and prepared, if you want to farm here, is because of all these. Uh, NPCs that are walking around here and they are actually um, attacking you if you come near them also there is a superhero flash somewhere nearby who is also attacking villains and uh, it would be good to be able if not to uh, defeat them then at least to be able to withstand some damage before you run away so yeah But the good thing about this is, well, same with Raid Reset, if you bought uh, the um, replay badges, you can sell them at any level to anyone, like, it's some um, community-based trading. The good thing about exhibits is that you can also collect them from the uh, any level, and you can obviously trade them. Uh, with uh, any people who have a um, legendary or premium accounts or to people <laughs> or who have uh, free accounts via um, auction if you did buy an extra auction spot like an extra, extra auction uh, slot I mean, so yeah you run around for a bit you uh, look for exhibits there are plenty in the Robinson Park. I don't know, remember all the places, but yeah. If you are a hero, these guys won't attack you. Just making sure that you don't worry about it. So here is another exhibit, and this is just uh, an example of how you collect. Uh, um, basically exhibits all around the Robinson Park. It's one of the most popular places uh, on the PvP server and PvE server, but uh, on PvP server there are obviously much less people, because lots of people don't even realize there is PvP server. So they obviously just put stuff on PvE and collect stuff from there. <coughs> but in addition to this, you can actually um, uh, use the exhibits to trade with other people for auras <coughs> for different styles and um, all type of things like that are tradable in the game so if you are premium that like spent five dollars or more on the game you can still uh, use exhibits because loads of players accept it as a currency rather than just a crafting ingredient and yeah because of this, because of the fact that there are loads of idiots, um, there is a bunch of respectable customers who are ready to waste shit load of stupid amounts of, uh, I mean, um, who are ready to spend uh, a reasonable amount of cash for worth the amount of exhibits, <laughs> 16 exhibits, yeah, 16 exhibits, so you can actually become rich or trade exhibits for some good stuff. Anyway, 
that's just a demonstration of how you um, uh, trade uh, after I go into the watchtower. Actually, we see in the chat here there is some guy, the same guy who, who uh, was offered a reset. Uh, he who wants to sell red small coral. Let's just ask him. <laughs> just out of interest, would you accept exhibits for trade? Just so you know, I don't know this guy, I'm not in one league with him, and uh, he's doing on my friend list, like, right now. Ah, so he only accepts cash, but that's because I mean, yeah. Just out to interest. So potentially, what I'm trying to say is, uh, uh, okay, and the cash. Well, as I said, some people uh, accept exabytes as a trading currency. Some people don't. <laughs> well, well, the thing that like, is that even if uh, people prefer cash, they might still be able to uh, trade for exabytes because, for example, this is a legendary account I'm playing on, and uh, what I'm gonna show you is how you basically sell the exabytes to the stupid, uh, I mean, to our customers who obviously pay some money for the exhibits and exhibits. So let's just check for instance our search uh, type in exhibit. How much do people sell sixteen exhibits for? So forty five exhibit ten thousand. Okay. Support exhibits sixteen exhibits fifty thousand. So there are two ways of doing this. You can either buy the really cheap uh, exhibits, 16 exhibits, and resell them for higher price, or you can actually gather exhibits without like, any actually spending anything and put them out on the market. So let's check again. How much is aggressive exhibit, the lowest price? So far we can see it's 73,000 something. I'm gonna offer it for 50,000 because that way it's going to be much, much easier to sell it. And it's going to be the lowest price on the market. So uh, now if I tap in aggressive exhibit. a bit, search for it. What do we have? The lowest price is obviously my price. It's highlighted in green. So he's going to go really quicker than the others. Because as long as you uh, look at the market, so yeah, if you do the exploration and uh, a bit of research, you can see what is needed to be sold. Alternatively, obviously, you can sell different stuff, like your styles and uh, whatnot, like whatever you collect. But this is the, one of the easiest things to basically get hold of and sell. So, let's say we don't want to sell, uh, not aggressive, but fortified exhibit. Oh, missed out. 10,000 being the lowest, 
So yeah, we can technically do this. We can remove the competition from the market uh, by buying this exhibit. And then at your own exhibit, because now, after I bought it, the lowest price for fortified exhibit has become 60, uh, not 16, 55,008. So what I'm gonna do is be an asshole. No, no, really, I'm just gonna lower the price. It's gonna be still higher than 10,000, but lower than 55,008. So I could do, well, let's not do 50, let's do 45,000 for instance and see how quickly that sells. First we get the broker item. And that's how we can make money in DC Airs Online. <coughs> People like start like messaging me about the resets now. I didn't mean to do the business with the replay badges. Seriously. <laughs> but yeah, after a while, as you can see, some stuff uh, gets sold like, really quickly, some takes a couple of hours. So eventually, we made uh, around 100, well, 95,000 just by collecting exhibits and selling them and buy the other exhibits. If you want to do it more stuff, then collect more exhibits. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, just a second. I'm doing a bloody video, for God's sake. Yeah, so... Yeah, let's set the one that we just bought. Sell it also for 45,000. So this way we would have done uh, eventually 140,000 today. Okay, well I think that's the end of the educational video about how to abuse this, uh, I mean how to help people get their exhibits. Bye, Victor's Wagon 360 out.